Yo, shout out to Planner Productions um, for this uploading this video. I've been watching a lot of his videos. I just found them today. Um, well, actually yesterday. I'm, I'm why did I lie? Actually yesterday, and I've been watching his videos and pretty good videos. But I don't know about this one, bro. Ten reasons why you should buy 2K22. After 2K20, bro, I, I don't know if it's ten reasons. I really don't know. So let's let's go and see. But this seems like it's gonna be some BS. So let's let's see though. I might be wrong. It starts about right here. WWE 2K22. I'm let y'all see number 10. Number 10, the graphic. Let's stop right there. Let's stop right there. I don't give a damn about that. I don't care about that. How long have the graphics been good? Keep Be honest. How long? Glitches aside, how long have the graphics been good? The graphics was good in Raw vs. SmackDown 2000. Like, they was good back then. After y'all let out a game that's so glitchy and buggy, graphics not going to be enough, bro. Let's skip to number nine. Let's skip to number nine. Let's see. Interests. I do not care about that. I don't care about interests. I'm trying to find one I can actually watch. That's that's not a... Listen, y'all. If, if what you like is graphics and entrances... Don't buy this game until it's like $20. And I mean it. Let's keep going. Interests. Interests. Let's see what else we got. Because them first two, new controls. That's part of the reason I don't want to buy it. Because y'all making the controls more complicated. Because y'all think that it makes the game. Y'all think intuitive means more complicated. Or more complicated means intuitive. Or more complicated is a skill gap. No, it's just tedious. That's all it is. There's no strategy. It's just tedious. A tedious mechanic. So new controls ain't going to cut it for me. Roster finesse. What is that? Number seven, the roster finesse. Let's see. People are concerned with their roster for WWE 2K22 because the company fired so many people since 2K has been working on the game in 2019. Okay. The good news seems to be that it may be too late to remove those wrestlers. 2K already finished most of the game and take the career mode for example. There's a critical part that includes- So that's not, but that's not a positive. You saying, oh, we could if we wanted to, but it's kind of too late to remove them. That's not a positive because it was up to them. They would have done it. They would have done it. This dude made good videos, and I'm not trashing this dude, but I'm just saying, like, he he doing good. Like, 2K, like, y'all need to get, get his boy some love because, um, nah, fam. I haven't seen a legit reason yet. Let's keep going. And people have been complaining about the roster all over YouTube. All over YouTube, people that say, look at the roster. This person missing, that person missing. Two things you got to have in a WWE game. A full roster, and it got to be, and it just has to be a fun game. That's it. Six, Mysterio Showcase. 2K Showcase mode isn't something that's okay. going to make people buy WWE 2K22. It's really not. However, it's a nice addition to the game, especially for younger fans. Now, that's not a reason I would buy it, but the Mysterio Showcase does sound good and no I, I thought they kept showing him because they were so like pleased about his character model because like i told y'all with my gm or like i told y'all with my player um with the my rise i said i'm I, i'm really worried because they are not showing us anything and when 2k likes something they will just jerk it off all over your screen they so proud of it who didn't really witness some of these matches while they were happening. Choosing Rey Mysterio as the main focus of the mode was a good idea. Okay. He's one of so, the most so that beloved be wrestlers cool. in WWE history, and it's going to be let, fun let, to let's see his career going. unfold that be with him cool. narrating it. What makes this even better is that we're going to have so many classic GMO. GMO. As number three, we first of all, explain to me, explain this to me, y'all. The fact that you can't do multi-man matches except in... Um, pay-per-views the fact that certain titles you can't play with certain titles the fact that it's a year there is a lot missing from gm mode so i don't know why people is hyping this up 
But I'm thinking of people in the comments. I'm having to check them when people in comments say, oh, you can't do this. You can't do that. And I'm like, for real? You really can't do that? Just looking at it's a lot. It, it's it's missing. Hey, somebody in the comment section for everybody. Let me know everything that's missing from my GM. So they don't got to ask me. They could just look at it and ask y'all because that's like, nah. All been asking for it to return for a decade now, and 2K has finally listened. GM mode is finally making a return to the WWE video games. Like I said, it only took 10 years, but it is finally back. It's going to have everything from the draft to booking the show to paying for promos and matches and receiving ratings for the shows. Something tells me that this is a mode that a lot of people are going to be playing for no. a long time. It's nice that 2K finally listened to their fans. It really seems like there's a ton of modes that will make this game last for a while. So are you telling me that you can't book? Yo, my GM, from what, honestly, let's be real. And I want to curse by a king because my kids is close. But let's be real, bro. Let's be real about my GM. It's a bunch of stuff that you can't, the basics. I'm hearing a lot of people say basics you can't do. Like the fact that you can't book multi-man matches until a pay-per-view. Let me know if I'm wrong. The fact that there are certain titles going. You can't put certain titles in there. The simple stuff. But what y'all do, the gobbledygook is what they adding. We gonna, we gonna cloud up the gameplay. I mean, cloud up the mode with all this irrelevant stuff and all this um, you can do this and you can decide how much people are getting paid and you can do this and do that. And what's this? What's the dust clear with that? Y'all going to be like, whoa, this is missing. That's missing. But by the end, you already gave me money. New gameplay engine. I mean, I, what was Okay. Number two, the new gameplay engine. Earlier in the video, I talked about the new gameplay engine that 2K is introducing, and I thought I should talk about it more because it seems like it is the best change to happen to this game. One of the biggest reasons 2K20 sucks so much is because of the glitches and the errors. Outside of that, they tried replicating the old engine, and it just did not work out. I like the idea of moving away from that engine and introducing something that has more of an arcade style to it. it I like the idea of not putting a game out that you know is broken. It's more fluid, quick, and has a fighting game feel to it. And I think a lot of people are going to enjoy this compared to the simulation we used to get from the past. I really do, and it's got me very excited. And number one, cross-platform community creations. The last okay, reason what is by WW2K22 is that they have confirmed that there will be cross-platform community creations. I cannot believe that they've finally done it. Users can now upload all their creations to every platform, and anybody from a different platform can download it. That is epic, and it is... After they took a year off with 2K20, the number one reason you should buy this game is cross-platform community creations. <sighs> I'm not going to rant. Like I said, I don't feel good. That's ridiculous. Listen. If any one of these 10 reasons are appealing to you, please wait. Just watch me. I'm going to get it. Watch your other YouTubers. Wait till the game be $30 or $20 and then play it then. Because these 10 reasons are thin. I'm talking about Olsen twins thin. Like, come on now. These 10 reasons are awful. Let me know how y'all feel about that. Let me know about more about this GM mode because more and more is sounding like they left a lot of unnecessary. They left a lot of necessary stuff out. Let me know how y'all feel about this. I'll let y'all later.